take uh, this piece of the car uh, off. My name is Michael. After traveling to over 40 countries, 2021 has been a turning point. This year, a short notice career break gave me the opportunity to jump on a last minute flight to a childhood dream of mine, Africa. As a kid, I used to be a big animal nerd, spending evenings watching National Geographic and the weekends in my local zoo. This time, I had a rare opportunity to explore a truly untamed and wild continent all by myself. Welcome to my adventure in Kenya, and welcome to Michael Wonder World. Please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more adventures. Good morning, second day here in Masamara. Morning. We have a full day game drive. We pack our lunch. We are driving all the way to the Masa River. Um, that's where the wallabies migration happens in July and August. Yeah, they jump over the river and get beaten by crocodiles, basically. Yeah, we're going to see the corridor, we're going to see crocodiles, hippos. Hippos, crocodiles. Many of them. So the road here is super tough and super muddy, and uh, someone already got stuck here. And uh, my driver and another vehicle's driver, we are trying to pull them out of the mud. Our turn. We got stuck. In Africa, cars get stuck all the time. And uh, here we go. We're trying to get this car out. So, what's gonna happen now is the other cars, they're gonna try to go around and uh, get to the other side. And from the other side, they're gonna pull us forward, pull us out of this mud. This is insane. We literally put a piece of the car off. We just pulled uh, this piece of the car off. You can see the missing piece right there. We finally got out! Imagine we went through all this trouble because there was a rumor that someone spotted a leopard in this area. Well, guess what? Of course we missed it. But that's the reality of safari, right? You can never plan for something to happen. Well, as we spend the next two hours driving to the Mara River, something totally out of our mind did happen this time.
So you are a ranger here, right? Yeah, I'm a ranger here. How long have you been doing it? This is four years now. Four years, wow. Yeah. Do you guys experience any like troubles here? Yeah, sometimes when you are going for patrol, then maybe the challenge you face there, maybe you go and get the poachers there. Uh, they, maybe they kill a hippo, then we try to arrest them. So this is the Mara River? Uh, river, come from. Oh, you have a gun. <laughs> yeah, I have a gun. Which one is it? Yeah, this one. Two, two, three. Okay, two, two, three. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> this is the Mara River. All right. Uh -huh. We have four main projects. Uh -huh. This is the first one. Okay. Another one, the main one we used to for the National Geographic. Yeah. It's very steep like Yeah, this. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I see that one. It's like four kilometers from here. Okay. There. So this is just the shallow one. Okay. That's, that one, the main one you use for National Geographic, it's very steep. Yeah. So they jump in, others are stampeded, see? Yeah, uh, exactly, yeah. yeah. So I guess the animals come down from here and uh, they go across the river and where do they get up? They climb from that rocks there. Okay. There. Yeah, over there, yeah. at the Mara River and uh, there are a lot of people on the other side of the river. Oh, it's big. We used to come out at night uh -huh. for grazing the whole night. Till the morning, they got back to the water. So, yeah, they eat grass, right? So yeah. they come out at night. Yeah, at night. Lunch at the Mara River. Vincent, let's yeah. see what's yeah. in our lunch. Lunch at Mara River. Wow, lots of food. Nice. This is enough lunch. More than enough. More than enough. Okay, right now I'm at uh, the border between Tanzania and Kenya. This rock here marks Tanzania and Kenya. And Benson is taking a selfie. So basically, right now I'm in Tanzania and let's go a couple of meters away this way. And I'm back in Kenya. I'm in the no man's land here in Masamara National Park. And uh, beyond those hills, it's the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania. Notorious Five Cheetah Brothers of Masamara. Cheetah is one of my favorite animals on the planet. They are the perfect combination of beauty and agility. However, speed can be a disadvantage too. Cheetahs are really not strong enough to overpower lions, leopards, or even hyenas. 
So in order to survive, cheetahs often form a coalition. These five brothers are probably the largest cheetah coalition documented to date. Together, they can take down much larger prey that are typically not on a cheetah's menu, like a toppy. And today, there happens to be a toppy nearby. Just as we approached the time of the park's closing bell, a storm began to brew. The strong wind and heavy rain distracted the herbivore's orientation. Just the perfect opportunity for the queens of the savannah. We're the sun, we've got to go on. Oh, no, you want to go to the sun, yeah, you want to go to the stars, oh, you want to go with the same, but you got to go down to the sun, yeah, you want to go to the stars, oh, you want to go with the same, but you got to go down. So here we go, last game drive of the trip. Yeah. Yesterday we saw a pile of lions trying to hunt yeah. when the rain started. And uh, we also saw the five brothers, the cheetah brothers. Um, not sure if they were hunting, but they were definitely curious about a topic. And uh, let's see what we can find today. So we found the same part that was hunting last night and they made a huge kill. Look. That's a carcass left over and the male lion is guarding it. Johnny. Benson, what animal do you think it is? This is a topi. It's a topi. Yeah, because you see it was big, like they've eaten and they still this whole thing you can see. So, so the lion part couldn't finish the animal. Yes. So they are all full, so it was big. It's big. Yes. <laughs> 